The Supreme Court heard arguments today on whether or not to preserve access to the abortion medication Mifepristone. It's the court's first abortion case since conservative justices overturned Roe v. Wade two years ago. WGN's Shannon Halligan has the latest reactions from local advocates about the proceedings so far. Shannon? Yeah, the justices today did not appear ready to limit Americans' access to the abortion pill Mifepristone. It's a case, though, that could have sweeping implications for how the federal government approves many medications. Anti-abortion activists protested outside of Walgreens headquarters in Deerfield Tuesday. At the same time, abortions rights groups rallied outside Chicago's federal court building. This all happening as the Supreme Court heard oral arguments in the case over the FDA's approval of the medication Mifepristone. The two opposite sides of the reproductive rights debate voiced their opinions on the drug, which is one of the most common ways for women in America to end a pregnancy. It is an outrage that a medication that the FDA approved over 20 years ago and has been safely used by more than 5 million people in the United States is now under attack. It would be a deep dive into something the court itself said it wouldn't do, which is decide for the nation. Abortion opponents asked the justices to limit access to Mifepristone. Walgreens and CVS get out of the abortion industry. The United States Supreme Court stop the unsafe distribution of these pills through telemedicine, through the mail, and at pharmacies. But the Supreme Court justices seemed concerned that the doctors who brought the case were not reasonably impacted by how the drug is regulated. Even conservative Justice Amy Coney Barrett seemed to doubt that the doctors in the suit were actually harmed by the FDA's actions. The difficulty here is that, at least to me, these affidavits do read more, like the, conscien the conscience objection is strictly to actually participating in the abortion to end the life of the embryo or fetus. And I don't read either Scott or Francis to say that they ever participated in that. In one possible resolution, the justices could avoid some of the more politically sensitive aspects of the case while preserving access to Mifepristone. The decision is expected by early summer. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN.